Hi, my name is Pauline, and today I'm going to talk to you about a really neat technology emerging in popularity that is going to change how people are taught and how they learn. First, let me tell you a little about myself. I'm a nurse practitioner at a busy neurology practice. I currently am not a teacher in a formal setting, but I do routinely teach patients. I first took an interest in educational technology when I was getting my master's. I realized that even though I had great teachers, I had trouble staying engaged with the material and yearned for something more interactive, or even videos that kept me absorbed in what I was learning. Presenting at a medical education research conference on this technology is a good way to introduce the information to a bigger crowd. However, any educator interested in expanding the way they teach would benefit from watching this presentation. Education in the medical field has typically been in person and has been very slow to adjust to e-learning or off-site skill study. Many things medically are learned by doing, which essentially means practicing on patients, dummies, or reading something in a book and attempting to remember the information when you see patients. If you haven't already guessed, this presentation is on augmented reality in medical education. Augmented reality is a technology that can superimpose computer-generated images into the student's view of the real world to give more information on the object being looked at. This could be beneficial in many scenarios. For instance, when a cadaver is being dissected, all the parts can be labeled in the student's view. Augmented reality impacts education from many aspects, from breastfeeding mothers to surgical procedures. In the neurology field, augmented reality can allow nurses or other providers to see veins they cannot otherwise see, or even perform a complex surgery seeing real-time veins and arteries that may have otherwise been camouflaged. A study was conducted on medical surgical students using augmented reality when being trained on a computer-based laparoscopic surgical system. The study found that by using the augmented reality, the surgical students had a reduction in muscle fatigue and were able to complete the task in a timelier manner by having instant feedback from the augmented reality rather than no feedback not using it. Furthermore, the study found that 75% of the students preferred using the augmented reality and increased their motivation. Countless research has been done that demonstrates the importance of hands-on learning. Imagine trying to learn a bike or swim by reading about it in a book or watching videos of someone else doing it. A person can learn the dynamics of how the skill is performed, but without having the physical experience, it would be a concept that would be hard to grasp. A 2009 study conducted by Purdue University found that 8th graders who were taught concepts through hands-on experience and learning methods showed significantly higher comprehension than those learning the same concepts with lecture and textbooks. A study specifically targeting nursing students using augmented reality found that the students who used the augmented reality had an increased comfort in physically doing the clinical skills. Unfortunately, the technology being new was a bit slow, which frustrated the students and limited the study. Bet you didn't know augmented reality first came out in 1968. Take a moment to let that absorb. That is before the advent of personal computers. Even Sutherland developed the first head mountain display system. This system was far from graceful, consisting of wires and mechanical bars to sense head position. But it got the job done, and users were able to see computer-generated graphics of simple wireframe drawings. Growth of the technology was slow. In 1974, Myron Kruger built what he called artificial reality by combining projectors with video cameras that emitted on-screen silhouettes that allowed the users to select options by pointing. In 1990, Tom Caudill coined the term augmented reality. In 1992, Louis Rosenberg developed virtual fixtures for the Air Force, allowing the operator to control machinery from a remote area. In 1994, Julie Mason created an augmented reality production in which dancers and acrobats danced around images that were transmitted to their same physical space. In 1998, augmented reality hit mainstream media and the NFL used a virtual yellow line to mark where the first N10 was located. In 1999, NASA developed the X-38 spacecraft that used a hybrid synthetic vision system which used augmented reality to overlay map data in the visual field to help navigate the spacecraft back to Earth. In 2000, Hirokazu Kato 
created a software that overlays computer graphics on a video camera, a system that is still used to complement current augmented reality systems. Pokemon Go, anyone? In 2003, the NFL was at it again, this time making it so the first and 10 could be seen using Skycam. Augmented reality has spread to every industry. Esquire magazine tried to get in on the action and, in 2009, made a magazine issue where Robert Downey Jr. came to life on the page when scanned. In 2013, Volkswagen made their user's manual with AR technology. Google came out with their glasses in 2014, and now there is the HoloLens, which is the most prominent technology device used currently for augmented reality for educational purposes. The use of augmented reality in the medical field has been increasing rapidly and is improving patients' lives and aiding in medical treatment. For instance, the augmented reality glasses New Eyes helps people who are visually impaired see things around them. Students with color blindness and vision impairments are able to learn with other students and are not having to learn braille or other things that were traditionally previously needed. Another augmented reality product called Brain Power helps people particularly those with autism. It helps them develop social skills, language skills, and aids with social behavior. A quantitative study demonstrated that a checklist done at 24 hours post-intervention with the smart glasses showed improvements in irritability, lethargy, stereotypy, hyperactivity, and inappropriate speech. This can have a huge impact on autistic students and change the way they are taught. AccuVein is a projector device that allows for veins to be displayed in real time, providing a 39% reduction in pain, three times higher success rate, and an average annual savings of $352,498. This would not only have a huge impact for patients, but also for nursing students learning to start IVs, which most new nurses will say is one of the most stressful new skills to learn. According to the National Center for Biotechnical Information, augmented reality has been being used for years in surgery and in educating students learning surgery. Since the release of the HoloLens, surgeons are able to use augmented reality in the operating room. Surgeons can see tumor boundaries, assist with implant placement, and guide along anatomical pathways. Medical students have always dealt with a ton of theory behind the surgical procedures, treatments, and human anatomy but by using augmented reality, they can visualize and interact with the knowledge they obtain. Even though I do not have a class of students, I am an educator to my patients. Augmented reality can help patients understand a procedure they are going to have, such as a heart catheterization, which would ultimately help the patients know the steps before, during, and after the procedure, resulting in a better patient outcome. So where is augmented reality headed to next? Augmented reality has been picking up pace and isn't going anywhere anytime soon. As a matter of fact, Google, Samsung, and Sony all recently filed a patent for a smart contact lens that would allow digital recording and images just with the blink of an eye. It would also contain the same technology behind augmented realities that identify objects and locations, allowing for the world to be viewed in a totally different way. This, of course, could present a problem in schools or academic settings as students could wear these contact lenses and simply Google answers. This technology may change the way education heads in the future. Speaking of how contact lenses may change the way students are taught, it is a very real possibility that the entire look of a classroom will also change. Students may one day be able to walk into their classroom and know what they are going to learn based on the decorations and style of the room. For instance, if they walked into a classroom with 3D images of the heart and the carpet was transformed into arteries and veins with blood moving through it, the students may know that they were going to learn about the circulatory system. The entire classroom could be an interactive learning tool. 2D views like posters on the wall can turn into 3D models that change depending on the subject matter. Augmented reality isn't only going to affect how a typical student learns. It is also going to affect how people relearn. For instance, if a stroke patient loses the ability to move one side of their body, they can use virtual reality to see the side of the body that has lost function move normally. Studies have shown when patients watch their impaired limb move normally again through illusions such as virtual reality, they actually gain function back. 
The HoloLens has the greatest potential to be used effectively for education and classroom use in the future. However, at a price tag of over $3,000, it wouldn't be feasible to have students buy. Like most technology, however, prices will come down. As more apps come out for the HoloLens, it would not be surprising to see that it could replace whole textbooks and maybe even project a textbook right in front of the person. The price of a medical textbook averages two to three hundred dollars. So if this technology advances in the way we hope it will, having a student buy some glasses that may eventually replace all of their books would not be unreasonable. So there you have it. Augmented reality is here to stay and is likely the future of education. So buckle up and get ready for an exciting new technological age. If you have any questions or feel something is missing from this video, leave me a message below. If you liked this video and want to see more, press the like button, share, or subscribe. Until next time, I'm Pauline, and you have been watching my take on augmented reality.